want to see how heavy the bullet is and how much powder the load is for these Kurtz bullets. So do a couple here and see. Okay. So the bullet itself, 127 grains approximately. Now let's see what the powder weighs. So about 21 and a half grains in that one. Let's try another, see how consistent it is. Another weird thing too, out of this batch, there is probably four or five now that had no powder in them at all. So a lot of primers, no powder, that would have been pretty rough if you were in the war. And you had no way of uh, unplugging the barrel. 126.4 grains and 21.5 powder I don't know why there was no powder in some that would have really sucked I'm using an MTM digital scale. I'll tear it again. There we go. 125.7. 21.4 grains. So about 21 and a half grains is basically what we're seeing from these from the factory. Factory loaded. And the head stamp on these is 0458. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. 0458. So I'm not really sure. I'd have to ask my buddy whose ammo this is to verify what year it was made and all that and the origin of the ammo. One twenty six point five, so it's not too consistent compared to today's standards. Twenty one and a half grains, so the powder loads are real consistent when there is powder in there. And this thing comes in real handy. Slime and inertia puller. Definitely a good buy. I think is about twenty bucks Canadian. Can't go wrong for that. 126.8. 21.6 grains. So yeah, they're looking pretty good. Pretty consistent.